One thing that Dr. Ella identified about Olympic athletes is that they recover quickly, not just physically. Obviously, these individuals are in excellent health and their bodies are primed to heal appropriately and in a timely ma manner from physical injuries. What really sets them apart is the way that they recover mentally. Olympians, as amazing as they are, are, are flesh and bone and they're human and they're fallible. Sometimes we observe them experiencing crushing, crushing mistakes. And we think, oh, will they be able to go on? Not because their body is broken, but we wonder, is their mind broken? Olympians don't define themselves by their last mistake. They learn from it. They go back and they identify, when did things start to go off the rails? How can I learn from that error? In typical, quote, recovery, there is a lot of emphasis on the past, on admitting, talking about, talking about again, talking to other people about your mistakes. That can be helpful to an extent. And for some people, it works and is a long-term solution to their alcohol issue. I don't come from any judgment around how anyone stops drinking. Or are we at AFL a little bit like those Olympic athletes? Well, I spent a lot of time talking about my past, talking about how many times I drank when I wasn't going to, when I had promised I wasn't going to, about the things that I said and did that were not aligned with my character, my values. In hindsight, it wasn't a sustainable solution. Sometimes the shame and embarrassment would keep me from drinking when I would have a craving. But I didn't feel like I was truly mining the gold from the mistakes. I wasn't using those things to empower me as I moved forward. It was distracting. If you notice anything about these Olympic athletes, it's that they are not distracted. And so the same way that they can get up from a fall and perform again, compete, continue the competition. In worst city, they're going, holy cow, how do they put that out of their head? That's what we are training ourselves, our minds to do in alcohol-free lifestyle. We don't pretend that these things didn't happen. What we do is learn from them. Okay, that happened when I was drinking. And that bad thing happened when I was drinking. What's the common denominator? The alcohol. Huh. It seems like most bad things that happen in my life happen when alcohol is involved. Now, the logical mind would say, duh, don't drink anymore, except this is a drug. So it's different. However, in AFL, we're teaching you the science around what this drug does, how it takes you out of alignment, with who you really are, and how to learn from it. How to take those defeats, those setbacks, and accelerate your path forward with a vigor and an excitement, recognizing that you have a choice. If those Olympic athletes just let their mind run nilly-willy, would they really have a choice when they got up to compete the next time? Or, would the past and their mind decide for them? We all like to have choices. We all like to feel that we have agency over our own lives. They are seeking opportunities. They refuse to stay stuck. And you can do the same. This is the same sort of mindset that has helped me not just release alcohol, but embrace a life that is in alignment, that is moving me in the right direction, not at the perfect direction, not a over the moon, happy trajection at all times, but I'm on, I'm on the right path and that feels amazing. And so those athletes may or may not win the competition, but they are really, really certain that they are on the path to victory.